Let me guess. Caleb has just released another set of characters with amazing assets and abilities. You, the targeted audience, fell for this suck up his move and have been left deprived. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna financially recover from this? Don't worry, Papa Skull's got you covered. In today's video, I'm going to go over every single way to obtain spirit orbs so that you can have an efficient recovery every time. If you find this video helpful in any way, please be sure to hit that like button. And while you're at it, make sure to subscribe for more future guides and content just like this one. And with all that out of the way, let's get started. So for the first method to obtain spirit orbs, it is to do your story missions. It may seem obvious, but many overlook the fact that you can get so much in a short amount of time. At most, it takes a minute per mission with each one netting you 5 spirit orbs. Granted that you are able to 3 star the mission. Story mode is split up into two parts. The main story and the side stories. Currently, since they are always adding more story missions, the amount of spirit orbs you can obtain from doing all of the main missions and side stories is 4304. Did I mention that I only calculated normal mode? That means both normal and hard mode will equal up to 8,608 spirit orbs. Do I even need to say more? Story mode is the best way to collect spirit orbs. Now onto the second method. It's very similar to the first, and that is sub-stories. Sub-stories for the most part have all originated from past limited time events. What makes these different from the main story missions is that these sub-stories give you a free 4 star character. What do you do with that free character you may ask? I'll get back to this in a moment. If you were able to complete all the sub-stories, that would be up to 2,706 spirit orbs from the missions alone. And about that free character. When you get any new character to their max level, whether they are 1 star or 6 star, you get spirit orbs. Starting from 1 star characters, you get 5 orbs, 2 star 10, 3 star 25, 4 star 35, 5 star 50, and finally 6 star with 75. While still on the topic of characters, let's take a look at the character album. There's a grand total of 1,805 characters. Realistically, as a free-to-play player, you won't have every single 5 star character and above. And because of this, I'll only be calculating 4 stars and below. If you take the time to hunt them all, that alone will net you 15,765 spirit orbs. Yeah, I was surprised as well while I was doing the count. Caleb have already announced that in a future update we will be able to do 5 times runs on sub stories, making it much easier to farm for those 4 stars. Continuing on, let's talk about event missions. I'm sure by now you see the pattern. Same for these, you do the mission and earn 5 orbs. The camphor here is much more difficult to calculate since there are rotations on certain quests. With that in consideration, I did not include anything under the limited time category and any future inheritance zone rotations. Only accounting for the completion of these missions, you get up to 1,825 spirit orbs. We can bump the count up just a little bit more by including the orbs you get from max leveling the raid characters. The 4 star characters were already calculated earlier, so for all the 5 star raid characters, that will give you 2,900 orbs. Up 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 up! And to believe I almost forgot the frenzy characters. There are 17 frenzy characters, which all can be evolved to 6 star adding 2,125 more orbs. Putting those character numbers with the previous mission completion count, grand total for event missions is 6,850 spirit orbs. I should quickly mention Chronicle Quest. Completion of all three parts will yield you 517 orbs. Okay, I think the boring part is done. Let's move on to the more engaging ways to collect those sweet, juicy orbs. Co-op. When you first start playing the game, you get the opportunity to earn 600 orbs. A few times in the past, Caleb have actually reset these rewards and let veteran players earn those 600 again. If 4-man co-op is in your thing, how about epic raids? Epic raids consist of 6 players, so getting those 600 orbs will be that much faster. After the completion of an epic raid, you earn medals to exchange in the shop. For regular raids, you can exchange up to 100 spirit orbs, while awakened raids have 200. There are many more metal types to earn in exchange for spirit orbs. 
Those others to name are Arena Mode with 125 orbs, Chronicle Quest Part 1 with 50, and PvP with 125. I should quickly mention that there are 27 5 star characters in the PvP Metal Exchange. That's an additional 3,375 orbs. Something to keep in mind is that these exchange shops do reset every month and or when their epic raid comes around again. Something else to anticipate every month is the Senkaimon which opens on the 5th and lasts for about 3 weeks. 280 orbs can be obtained for the completion of the normal tower and 200 from the extreme. If it is your first time, I do suggest doing each normal tower 5 times to get more free characters to max for spirit orbs. Everything totaled up here equals to 2,980 spirit orbs. Guild Quests This one may not be everyone's cup of tea since it is more on the competitive side, but I do encourage you to try to complete as many waves as possible since the lottery rewards is extremely worth the 3 minutes of your time. The orbs here are RNG between 1 and 25, so I won't be adding it to the final count. Orders If you complete all your daily orders, you receive 5 spirit orbs. Under the free category, there are a bunch of others that give spirit orbs such as login days, brave battles, taking an ally on a quest, unlocking new characters in your album, entering guild quests, and reaching wave 5 in guild quests. All of these will be available constantly while increasing in requirements over time. There are also one-time clear orders so be sure to give this category a look for yourself. Same with the events category. Player ranks. These are 50 missions with random objectives to complete for orbs. Kind of self-explanatory and nets you 370 orbs. Login bonuses. Every week you can receive 10 spirit orbs. On the 15th of every month, we receive 15 more orbs. Depending on the situation, there can also be special promotion login bonuses, like what we had for Burn the Witch and Download Celebrations. Some bonus ways to earn spirit orbs that I should mention are from any social media event Caleb hosts, or whenever Caleb messes up for whatever reason. But I want to get your hopes up on that one. After doing the math for all of this, it has definitely exceeded my expectations. Adding up everything, we were to complete all the permanent missions, collect all of the characters, and buy out the orbs in the exchange shop, the total spirit orb count in two months would total up to 43,314 spirit orbs. If anyone says there isn't enough spirit orbs in the game, be sure to link them in this video. Of course, this total count will vary different from player to player, but if you were to start a brand new account and not spend a single penny, the baseline amount of orbs you could potentially earn in two months time would be 43,314 spirit orbs. If you notice any mistakes or errors in my calculations, please be sure to mention it in the comments below and I'll be sure to pin it. Give this video a like because gathering all the numbers and organizing it in a presentable fashion did take some time. Finally, do subscribe if you want to be up to date with the Bleach Brave Souls content I'll be making in the future. Alright, until next time.